Hello guys, Charles here and welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to be talking about something which is often overlooked and that is the humble plectrum. Of course a plectrum in itself is not really the most exciting topic in the world which is why we don't tend to discuss them very much but the overall theme that I want you to take away from this video is simply assigning some time maybe every week or a couple of times a week to just thinking about tone in general in its most basic level and specifically the acoustic tonal resonance of your instrument. So I want to share with you three important ways that your plectrum alone can affect your overall tone as a guitarist and really this is just something that you can experiment with and find a balance that works best for you. So firstly, and probably most obviously, you need to choose a plectrum. Now, personally, I've got this collection of plectrums here. These are probably all from the last few years alone. Um, I've got one made of bone, I've got Jazz 3s, Fender Mediums, Gibsons, uh, 206, big stubbies and chubbies, all sorts. Um, the one I'm currently using is the one that I've just recently got the last few weeks, probably about three weeks, I've been really taken by it, which is the Andy James Plectrum. Now, um, I'm not an Andy James fanboy, that's not the reason I got this, although obviously Andy is an incredible player, um, but most Plectrums that I've bought in the past, if I've been fanboying, that's purely the reason why I bought them, whereas this one I was quite intrigued by the design itself, so do check out that Andy James Plectrum, I've really been quite taken by that. So I'd recommend you just get your hands on as many different Plectrums as you can, try the ones your favourite players are using, try the ones your teachers recommend, your friends are using, and you start to get a sense for the kind of things that you want, but I'm constantly changing my Plectrum, like I say as recently as three weeks ago I've been trying this Andy James one because it had elements of other Plectrums that I like. And so you're just kind of concentrating those particular characteristics and hopefully one day we'll all find the perfect plectrum. But I've been very impressed by that one. General rule of thumb for plectrums is the lighter it is, the more appropriate it is for strumming and the heavier it is, the more appropriate it is for lead playing. And of course, medium plectrums fit somewhere in the middle of those two. So secondly, where you contact the string in this area of your guitar makes a huge difference to the tone. So experiment and try and find the sweet spot, and I'd recommend you do this acoustically, uh, but of course I'm plugged in here. But you'll find that towards the bridge you get a brighter, more twangy sound. So there we've got attack and we've got bite and we've got that twang. Uh, whereas when we move up to the ne neck end of the guitar, we're going to have more of a rounder, fuller tone. So you want to find the sweet spot, the balance between those, and of course the plectrum you use is going to affect that. So just because you find a sweet spot doesn't mean that when you then change plectrum it's going to be the same place. You're going to need to experiment with all three of these things that I'm going to share with you but you're gonna find a sweet spot where you feel that the tone is really, really good. Now you may find that it's in kind of an awkward position and that actually playing in that sweet spot is not necessarily very comfortable. So you may have to draw a bit of a compromise there and you may find that there's other ways that you could maybe, I don't know, maybe you can't quite get a dark enough tone with it being comfortable. Well, there's other ways that we can change our tone so you could try a heavier plectrum, a different plectrum material. Uh, so that might be an indicator that you need to change your tool. So spend a bit of time every couple of weeks just finding where's that sweet spot for the way that you play the guitar and the plectrum you're using that sounds really great to you. General rule of thumb, is this end of the guitar is for country players and palm muters, chuggers, and the closer you get up to this end, you're gonna get that rounder, darker, jazzy tone. And the final thing to consider with your plectrum is it has three points on it. Most plectrums do anyway, although you can actually get circular plectrums, but this plectrum design, the classic triangle shape, has three points, and normally one of them is very sharp, and the other two are normally equally rounded. I'm actually in the habit of playing with the rounded end of the plectrum because again, depending on which point you use, you're going to find you get a different tone. And although these two corners are technically the same, depending on how worn that plectrum is, you're going to find you get different sounds. If you always play with one of these corners, it's going to be worn and the other one's going to be fresh. And you may end up with a plectrum that has a very bright tone on the point 
a moderately bright tone on the one that you don't tend to play on and a darker tone on the side that you do play on. So try playing with the different corners. I think it's Kurt Rosenwinkel off the top of my head who plays with the back side of his plectrum. But my, my brother suggested I try this and I've just got in the habit of it. But again, that's another way you can darken the tone of your plectrum without changing a plectrum. So again, you'll probably notice this better acoustically, but seeing as I'm plugged in here, let's see if we can hear a difference between the point and the back side. So a, f a far less punchy uh, sound when using the backside. And as you may know, Kurt Rosenwinkel, he even uses an envelope filter to round off the attack of his notes. So he's obviously a very anti-attack player for some reason. I I'll have to look into why that is. But you can experiment with using different sides of your plectrum. So back to point number two, if you like picking in the twangy end of the guitar because it's most comfortable for you, but you don't like the tone of it, then try either rotating your plectrum using a different corner and that might balance it out or try using a different plectrum entirely. So there's three plectrum pointers for you, things to try out this week on your guitar. But remember the overall point here is all elements of the guitar, whether it's your plectrum, your strings, even your guitar cable, things that we normally just consider secondary to you know amps and effects and pickups and all this exciting stuff they can make a really big difference to your tone and just spending five or ten minutes each week with your guitar unplugged and and trying to find what's the best sound i can get out of my instrument different vibratos how hard you press with each hand and just trying to massage the nicest sound you possibly can from the acoustic instrument alone is going to have a huge impact when you do eventually upgrade to a lovely guitar and a lovely amp. So I hope you found some of those points useful. Please do give this video a like, subscribe, ding the notification bell and share with any of your friends who need to work on their tone. And I hope you're all doing very well and getting plenty of practice in. And I very much look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers. Roll up, roll up, let me embed a story you'll never forget. Jeff, Jeff, you're drowning in debt now. You can't buy your way out.